Hey guys, Big E, I'm back here. Uh, today's something totally different. Um, I remember uh, way back we did a crankcase ventilation uh, install on train wreck. Uh, I mean, this is going back probably, I'm gonna say a year ago I did, I think it was a three part video series on train wreck and putting this on and drilling out the valve cover and stuff. You can check my channel out, you'll see those videos, but I, I said when I put that on um, that it was a experiment, okay, to see if it really worked as far as, because I was having an issue where every time I pulled the trailer, I'm just, I was blowing out like a quarter oil uh, between going to Maple Grove and back or going to Island Dragway and back. So <clears throat> my whole thing was the seals of relieving the pressure, the crankcase pressure, to see if that relieves the stress, reduces the oil leak. So I never got back till today, okay, about it. Uh, I remember I said something about that in the video. Uh, I actually am, have train wreck here, and um, I put a quarter oil in, but would you believe for um, going to Maple Grove would take a quarter oil, going to Island Dragway would take a quart. I went to Maple Grove and back with the trailer. I drove the truck a week for work, and then I went to Island Dragway and back. Guess how much oil it blew out? How's not even half a quart grab you? So this whole thing about the PCV valve being adequate or, you know, that the, the sucker systems don't work they do okay that was proof right there for me that doing that bit of work and putting that and having the exhaust system exhaust stream the vacuum that that creates sucking all that junk out of the engine and blowing it out your your tailpipe that to me shows that they work um, it shows that it reduces the stress on your seals, your valve cover, gaskets, everything else. And I think it's just overall, the truck ran, I mean, the truck runs amazing. I mean, I was, again, we went, you saw the videos, we went to Island Dragway this past weekend. Again, we used train wreck to pull the trailer. Again, 70, 75 mile an hour with like eight to 900 degree EGTs on it. And it just, it didn't care you know so kudos to the sucker system and that experiment that we did to see about if it would reduce the oil leak i am really happy about it, that this experiment worked i wanted to share with you guys let you know that this actually works and it is worth the trouble um so if you have a diesel truck <clears throat> or any other vehicle that you're daily or that you tow with or your truck a gas truck try one of these out put one of these put one of these crankcase evac systems on and um, try it out I you know like I said I originally did it as an experiment to see if it would help with the oil consumption or that it wouldn't blow as much out now I'm gonna tell you even though I mean anything that's turbocharged you're gonna get stress and it's gonna blow some oil out even when I had my 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 Buick Grand National that was turbocharged 3.8 that even i mean i forget how many times i tried to reseal that engine and you can't because the crankcase pressure and your compression ratios go up so they spike so hard that there's no real gasket out there that i know of other than super expensive stuff that's going to keep that from happening but if you have a truck that you're using as your daily and you tow with and you're looking for something man you know i really need something going through oil like crazy or whatever try putting one of these systems on there it probably it, i'm not saying it's going to totally alleviate the problem but i think it's really gonna help if you have an issue with with oil being blown out of your valve covers or or you know especially a turbo diesel you're, you're I think you're gonna notice a difference in the overall performance that I think is gonna get better so anyway I just wanted to share that tip with you guys today again that's what they look like and then they have the hose which goes to your exhaust system with a one-way check valve so again if you're interested in put one of those on your truck check out my videos on my uh, I believe it's from a year ago um, I did the install on this truck and unfortunately because of COVID and everything else I never got back I never even got a chance to test the truck to see if it made a difference until this past weekend So it did I was thoroughly impressed with it. So I wanted to share with you guys um, About that and uh, oh my shirt by the way Thinking of you and it's a 
voodoo doll with pins in it so there you go anyway um so just wanted to touch base with you guys so anyway like and subscribe watch out for each other take care of each other we'll see you next time on big e's bye for now